you, Noel. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Fedra, for the organization of this meeting, and uh, welcome, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here. It sounds like an anniversary for me. Ten years ago, I was working in this exact same building, and you see, uh, uh, now I'm elsewhere, and I think that this is uh, really the, the, the topic of the day, uh, carriers. What does that mean? Should carrier be a, a straight road? Uh, and in fact, uh, I'm not so sure. I will, I will tell you more in a minute uh, about that. So I have two disclaimers. First of all, I'm not here, it's very clear, to give a lesson. Very, very, there is no lessons to be, to be given here. Uh, I'm not claiming that what I did uh, and still doing is right or, or, or wrong. Uh, this is just to share with you uh, some part of my, uh, my career uh, with uh, failures and, and, and few successes from my point of view, but you will judge. Um, and, um, and of course, this is a personal presentation. Uh, and it's quite interesting because it's the uh, first time I do that. Uh, in, 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 in the life of a scientist, most, m most of the time we are used to speak about uh, the science that we do or the, the topics, scientific topics, but not so much about personal uh, point of view. So, uh, and you will see that my presentation is quite personal. And the statement I make here, uh, uh, might not be reflecting uh, the ones of my current organization, of the organization that I was working for in the past. So, uh, who am I? Um, currently, I'm a director uh, at Medicines for Malaya Venture in Geneva. I'm married to Sophie, who is sales district manager in a multinational company. And I'm a very proud dad of two daughters. Uh, I know I'm biased, but it's so good. <laughs> Uh, Coralie, who is, uh, will turn 19 at the end of the year, and she's uh, studying in Lausanne. And Marine, who is 12 years and a half, uh, and she's competing in gymnastics, uh, currently preparing for being selected uh, for national level. Um, my patience in life, I think that after my family, I think it's important to have patience. This is really a, a driver to me. This is what, 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 what is very important on, the, on a daily basis. This is what gives you energy. and. So at least for me, this is the way I'm, wor I'm working. Um, so my job, of course, is a patient. Uh, travels, meeting people, generally speaking, uh, embracing different cultures. I love to discuss with, with people and, and to be the, the little trade union, you know, the little link between some people, between talents. You have all talents. And, and, and what I really like, and more and more, I really enjoy that. When you see that you can put people together and they discuss and they create something. And you are, in a very humble manner, you are just here to put them together. And this is really, uh, really fantastic. Uh, I like also um, high speed sport cars and, and, and car races. Uh, this is my little crazy side. Um, when I was younger, uh, I mean less old, uh, I was playing guitar and, and volleyball. And this gave me also the, the notion of uh, reaching goals. So I think that uh, doing sport is quite important as well. On the right hand side of the slide, you see my, my little daughter doing gymnastics on, on, on the Great Wall in China. This is what we did this, uh, this, uh, this summer. And, and this is just to, uh, to share with you what she's, she's doing. She's very creative. And she has punched two lists above her, her, her bed. One list is uh, made of what she's calling the feasible dreams. And the other, the other list is the unfeasible dreams, like well, walking on Mars or... And the feasible dreams, one of them was uh, doing gymnastics on the, on, the, on the Great Wall. And I think that we all need that. We all need dreams that come true. So this is really something important. Uh, first career choice. My dream job when I was at baccalaureate in France uh, was to become physiotherapist. I was obsessed by that. I really wanted doing that. This was my, my, my dream job at that time. At the time, I was playing volleyball in a, in a team which was competing at the national level, National Free, which is the lowest level. But nevertheless, we, we, I really enjoyed being with people, trying to help people, motivate people. And, and, um, and this is really what I wanted to do. Uh, but I even not started that. Uh, and in reality, uh, then after I was group leader in academic research, uh, then in industry, and now just in between. 
in a not-for-profit organization, a product development uh, uh, partnership, PDP organization. So why did I fail somehow being a physiotherapist? And, and, and today I should admit that I have no regrets. <laughs> Um, I felt simply because at that time there was only one school in France which was very expensive and my parents said, Guy, you need to do something else because uh, we won't be, it's not uh, affordable for us. Uh, today I thank them because I, I'm, I really enjoy what I'm doing. So you know, life is made of opportunities, that's, that's very clear. Uh, my education is quite classic, so French baccalaureate, license, uh, bachelor now, I need to, to be up to date. Sorry for that, you see, you, you can guess my age. Uh, uh, DOA, so it's French uh, diploma, uh, five years of the baccalaureate, and Magister of Enzymology, Master now, and PhD in Molecular and Structural Biology in, in Grenoble, uh, working at the Synchrotron in collaboration. Already at that time, I liked collaboration. Uh, Post-university, uh, postdoc at ISREC, this is where I met Monica, for instance, uh, uh, working on anti-tumor drugs and, and, and chromatin. Uh, scientist uh, in the biotech at Serono. Then um, I was proposed uh, a position of head of proteomics platform uh, at the uh, university in the NCCR program, and it was a very uh, exciting uh, experience and quite surprising, I, I would say. Um, then group leader in industry, Serono, and then Merck Serono here. And now uh, drug discovery at, uh, at MMV. Uh, nine years now that I'm doing that. So I have a passion for working with others, you understood that, and, and, and creating partnerships, uh, and this is exactly what I'm doing in a, on a, almost on a daily basis in my job. Uh, and every day I'm amazed by the creativity of the, of the people when you put people discussing them to, together and, and, and showing um, high motivation to work together. Then this is really where you can, you can create synergies, you can create things. Uh, already uh, during my... Uh, uh, my PhD time, uh, I, I set up, I was the first in the lab setting up a collaboration with the synchrotron. Uh, I was purifying a, a protein, I think that the world knows that uh, perfectly. Uh, this excitement when you try to purify a protein, you know, and, and, and of course the next goal is to try to, to, to get crystals somehow and, and, and to have an X-ray. Uh, and, and free structure det determination. Uh, this was really uh, beyond the, the frontiers of my knowledge at that time, but, but I was uh, appealed by knowing more and, and, and collaborating with people who could bring me some, 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 uh, I mean, some knowledge. Uh, so the eagerness to, to, to learn something new was, was always one, one of my uh, drive. Um, then after I, I I kept on going with collaborations during my postdoc with a modeler and mass spectrometry, mass spectrometry expert, and this is where I started to learn uh, mass spectrometry. Uh, then after at the uh, University uh, of Geneva in collaboration with 13 partners, uh, and today we have uh, in the organization up to 400 partners in the world. This is representing between 2,000 and 4,000 people. Uh, of course, I'm not talking to all of them on a daily basis over the phone, but uh, there is a lot of, lot of interactions and it's fascinating. Different cultures um, from all over, the, all over the, the planet. I mean, basically South, uh, South America, Asia, Afri Africa, this is, uh, this is really, really great. Uh, so my values uh, beyond collaborations and, 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 and interactions between people are uh, ethics, respect, transparency, empowerment, fairness, recognition, loyalty, honesty, and listening. Every time I'm working in an organization, I'm really uh, looking for that. Uh, and, and I can decide at any time to leave the organization if those values are, uh, are no longer uh, mine. The values of the organization are, are, are no longer mine. And I'm not telling that uh, this is right, and the values of organizations are wrong. It's just that at one point, you, the way I drive my, my, my career is to constantly address this. Because this is really what, what gives me uh, the energy to wake up every morning and to go to, to the job, having zillions of ideas in, 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 in the mind and saying, okay, today I I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna contact this person, and, and, and this is very important to, to have values. So, what did guide my, my choice, and, and still guiding, still guiding my choice, 
uh, motivation for biology, biochemistry, and chemistry, all serving medicines. Uh, the values of the organization I'm working for, I just discussed about that, um, being useful is essential to me. The day I feel I'm not useful uh, uh, anymore in an organization, uh, I will leave the organization. I really need to be useful. Uh, having responsibilities, scientific challenge, creativity, and, and freedom to operate. I constantly assess um, what I do and why I'm doing that, and I try to convince myself to be better convince others, so this is also uh, important. My vision of management, what I, what I like to see in my top management, um, is uh, being smart, uh, taking decisions, being responsible, and leading by example. Uh, and I try uh, to learn from them and, and at my level to apply that to me. And I'm not claiming that this is easy. Um, a decent salary. Um, if I think of the, in terms of return on investment, studying at university, paying for that, uh, and, and, uh, and now the more than 60 hours I'm working per week at home and in the office, um, a decent salary is something which is important to me, and the flexibility in my job. So the risk I took and lesson I learned. Uh, if I take, for instance, the example of the proteomics lab uh, at the University of Geneva, I was very excited by that. At that time, I was working uh, at Serono, and when I was contacted, contacted um, I somehow accepted to lose more than 30% 30% in my salary. So clearly here, the salary was not the, 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 the main driver because of the exciting possibility of creating something. And this was truly exciting, I can tell you. I have no regrets today. If I would have to do that again, I will do it again. Um, or I would do it again. But um, there is something that I did not evaluate uh, quite uh, well enough. This was a business model. Well, sounds a bit bizarre, business model at university. In fact, there was. Because it turned out that among the 13 customers I had on the, on the Proteomics platform, only two belonged to the uh, network which was paying my salaries and paying my lab. And at the end, it was not valid. So um, sometimes, you know, you embrace new roles and, 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 and you don't clearly see uh, the, the, the business behind. So it's quite important to, to evaluate that. Pursuing a long-term goal uh, that is attractive at the time uh, uh, you are thinking of that. It happened to me uh, at one point. I was thinking of uh, doing a sort of uh, classical academic careers in France, uh, working at INSERM or, or CNRS, for instance, and realizing several years after that this was maybe not so vibrant. Again, don't get me wrong, according to my own criteria, we are all different. Um, so failure at that time uh, turned out to be success uh, today for me, doing something else. The significant loss of salary I was talking about already uh, when changing position. Um, not willing to change a position uh, which is comfortable because we are quite all like that. It's sometime in the life it's comfortable to sit in a position and because you know, you know your role perfectly, it's quite comfortable. And, uh, the problem is that uh, there is a risk that you have a slower uh, evolution, partic particularly true in, uh, in industry uh, and even in uh, over organization. So finding the right frequency to change job uh, is important and resisting to mermaid songs. Some positions seem very attractive, uh, however, you have to question yourself what they are uh, really. Defining a main theme that will guide you uh, all the way through, I think that if I need to leave you uh, today with, with, uh, with uh, um, an advice, if I may give one, is that something I, 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 I tried to, to do in my career was always to be uh, attracted by something, a main goal. Uh, in, in my case, this was always the same question, to try to understand how macromolecules, biomolecules, or even cells uh, can be regulated by small molecules uh, in the context of a, a disease or a, a therapy. And in fact, it was very good because it opened doors uh, to me uh, in academic field, in uh, industry, and now in between. So I think that having a, a goal like that is important. My skills in academia, molecular biology, biochemistry, chemistry, basis in physics, uh, technology, uh, protein production, purification, characterization, autonomy, and fundraising. In industry, uh, molecular and cellular in vivo pharmacology, which is still useful to me uh, today. Drug discovery, extremely important. Uh, basis of drug development, project management, decision making 
is, is important. Deliverables, milestones, budget management. And today I apply that in my current position. Everything that I've been learning during uh, uh, the period of time I was working in academia or in industry, I'm doing that now. And in addition, having a vision, a mission, uh, and partnership, high-level communication, multicultural environment is something uh, I was talking to. Uh, I was talking about, sorry. And convincing others, uh, business development, strategic analysis, and decision making. What I would change in my career if I had to do it again, I would start early uh, uh, working in a small uh, international organization. Small and interna international organization is important. In the same day, you can sit uh, to the, uh, next to the CMO and in the uh, uh, afternoon uh, discussing with the CSO of another company. Favoring cross-functional uh, jobs earlier on, realizing earlier that science does not make everything. This is very important in a career. Uh, if you do not care enough of uh, politics in the good sense of the word, communication, networking, you will not progress as fast as you should. Uh, understanding earlier that if you fail once in getting a job, uh, you will have a better one later. Uh, someone very close to me is constantly repeating that. And what I do constantly tell to myself, being humble, don't, don't take me uh, too seriously. Uh, life is short and having fun is very important. Thank you.